All right. So I've got my wired, wired cheap controller here. I've gone in here to controller, uh, to controller settings, and I forgot Bluetooth controllers. We'll go ahead and do it again. All right. Then we're gonna try to pair some third-party controllers, some different generic controllers that I found cheap on eBay. So up first, I have this knockoff PS3 controller that was $8 on eBay. And I'm gonna try to pair it the same way I would a PlayStation 3 controller. All right, which is plug in the PlayStation 3 controller cable, the charge cable, plug the cable into the Pi. Now it's plugged into this controller. It's vibrating and blinking kind of slow. This thing's vibrating and blinking kind of slow. So what we're gonna do is pull that out, press this, and hopefully it'll pair. Oh, there we go. So we've got that third party one. This one did not come with the USB dongle. Uh, yeah, you don't really need one if you do it like that. Up next, and I like this one. It's a company that went out of business. Uh, it was a video game streaming service that didn't take off. It was it came out a little too before its time, a little too early. But I picked up this controller because I think people think they're useless and it very well may be. But I picked up this controller for $11 on eBay. And what you do to try to pair this one, go to controller settings. We're gonna turn it on. All right, it's turned on. We're, then we go to pair a Bluetooth controller. And what you do with this one is you press these two buttons at the same time the home and the center button there. And we're hoping it picks it up. Okay, it says on live wireless controller. That's the one we want. Controller paired, all right. So that one was done without This one was done without a dongle. It came with a dongle, but you didn't, you didn't need it. All right. Then up next is a, a GameSir, GameSir G3 controller. We're gonna turn it on. All right, no dongle in. We just turn that. One, we go to controller settings, pair of Bluetooth controller. I, th I think we're just gonna let it go like that. It's blinking. Blinking. Okay, it's the second one, GameSir G3. It did pick it up. So we're gonna hit the cheap controller. Oh, it vibrated a little bit. Now it's paired. All right. That was the Game Sir G3. That I picked up at an eBay auction for $8.50, shipped to my door. To my door and um it retails for about thirty dollars though i kind of it's it's okay i like it up next i saved these two for last this is a power a playstation 3 controller power a brand and you put batteries in it here it doesn't have a a usb port or anything to charge it so you can't plug it directly into the Pi. 
but it does come with, and I couldn't figure it out not using the dongle. I'm not saying it can't be done, but I couldn't figure it out. But this came with the USB dongle that's a little, a little bulky if you're trying to plug in something else, you know. But we're gonna plug that in the bottom here. I'm gonna try. See my ball dead. All right, I plugged that up. Plug it in the third USB port or the fourth USB port, and then it's just it's done. Now you can go and configure these if you need to. Controller settings, configure a controller. But um, yeah, you might need to do that, but that one's paired. But it, I, I had to use the uh, USB dongle for the Power A controller. And I found the same thing with uh, the Speedlink NX Strike controller that I I couldn't figure out how to pair it without using the USB dongle. So what I'll do is plug in the USB dongle. You might need it if you buy this controller. You might need the dongle because I couldn't figure it out otherwise. But I'll plug in this dongle. I actually have to unplug the other one because it's too bulky. All right, now that USB dongle is plugged in. Press that center button and it's good to go. But um, yeah, that requires the USB dongle. And I think that about sums it up. I hope this helps. Helps you figure out how to pair a controller if you're having trouble. All right, good luck, have fun.